On today's live training episode 1903 for Filmic Pro, we checked out the white balance controls that you have inside of the app, as well as the gamma curve and highlight and shadow controls, and some controls over the color that you do have, saturation, vibrance, and a little bit more. We also looked at how to do a custom white balance, which is kind of cool. But check out a few minutes of the video, and then at the end, we'll show you where to get the rest of it. First and foremost, we are in auto white balance. As I change the scene, you can see the white balance changing in here, and that's just happening completely automatically. So now let's get into the more manual approach to this. So if you wanted to totally set a manual white balance and obviously set an accurate one, one of the ways we can do that is to use a, well, a actual white balance card. So let's bring that back up here. Use that little guy here. I want you to focus primarily on these squares along the bottom. So there's white, obviously, and black, some shades of gray in between. If I hit dynamic, Notice how the blacks got blacker and the whites got brighter. And you see in the very bottom there, your black points are getting pulled up, your white point is getting pulled down. You really are crushing that data down. And I'm gonna hit the little double-headed arrow in the top left corner to reset that. Um, to the right of that, you see something that says noise reduction, but you'll also see that I can't select it right now. I'm tapping it, but nothing's happening. This does allow you to apply a very different colored look to your image. To see the rest of this video in its entirety, head to photojoseph.com slash LT1903 or click the links down in the description below. Also to see all of the training on Filmic Pro, just head to photojoseph.com and click on the filter by app button and select Filmic Pro.